Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luna Ball Illusion from Madhouse Marvel Sideshow, and you're watching Disney Channel. Uh, but nah, I'm just kidding. Today, I'm gonna be gifting you with an in-depth how to become a proud mother or father of your very own pair of no-so nipple tassels. I'm no master by any means whatsoever, but they're fairly easy and cheap to make, and I know a lot of performers, models, or less performers, sideshow members, dancers, and I already told the snap that I would do a tutorial on it, so now I'm officially not a liar. <laughs> so yeah, I said, fuck it, I'll teach the kids how to make some titty tassels, why not? So just follow along, and together I'll walk you through all the steps needed to complete this project. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a long as fuck tutorial, I just wanna answer questions as I go, but feel free to skim through, it's your tutorial, and you can do whatever the fuck you want. Everything that you'll need for this project is in front of you. I'll post a description of all the lists and supplies in the bio underneath. Okay, so step one is going to be to cut out your desired shape out of your buckram or styrofoam paper, whichever one you decide to go with. It doesn't matter. You're still going to be cutting out the same shape. I would go with a stencil for sure. You don't have to go out and buy a stencil. I'm using just the bottom of a lotion lid. You could use pretty much whatever the fuck you want as long as it's a circle. You can use like a can or the bottom of your glue bottle or a Madhouse Marvels button. Link in the bio for merch. Um, anyway, yeah, use whatever the fuck you want. Doesn't matter. So I'm just going to use this lotion bottle because it like is a pretty decent size. Um, too big, it's fine. Whatever, you're covered. Too little and like kind of defeats the purpose because, you know, you're going to be exposed. All right, get your circles. Step two is gonna be to find the middle of your circles because that's where we're, where we're gonna be hanging our tassels from. And so you wanna make sure that that's nice and center. The way that you find your middle is that you're gonna take your piece of paper, do the exact same thing, stencil, draw it out, cut out your circle, and you're gonna fold it in half twice. And then once you fold it in half twice and you have your little pizza slice O paper, then you're just going to cut off the very tip of it. And that's how you find your middle. After you find your middle, you're going to align it up with your buckram or styrofoam that you just cut out and mark your middle. Make any edits if like there's pieces of the styrofoam sticking out. It's just not really your vibe and you thought that you cut your paper circle better than your styrofoam because I sure as hell did. <laughs> then do whatever you gotta do. But then don't forget to mark your middle. Use like a pen or a pencil just as long as it's visible when you take your marker off. It's fine. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you have your middle. Oh, oh that's terrible. <laughs> Update. Uh, kind of cut too much off my circle. Hello, oh, well, at me. So I'm just making a new one real quick. When in doubt, if you're looking at it and you're just like, hmm. Not really so sure about that one. Just make a new one. Why? Because it takes two seconds. Then you're just gonna cut a straight line up from the bottom right into that dot that we just made. If you've made it to this part in this tutorial, I'm here to congratulate you to say that you've withstanded the attention span of a normal two-year-old, so just... <laughs> And now it's time to sew on our tassels. And I know what you're thinking, Sansa, oh my god, are you making us do that already? Yes, girl, already. I said the same thing. But it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great, I'm gonna help you, and you're gonna say, oh, that wasn't that bad. You're gonna take your tassel, and you're going to put the top of your tassel in the back of your buckram or styrofoam paper. I really hope that it's called styrofoam paper because I've been calling it that this entire time. Depending on how long you want them to have room to twirl, 
is how long or short your back's gonna be. So you see how my strings aren't even? Just give it like a little tug, make sure that they're parallel and straight with each other. Just, I don't know, I mean, live your life, do whatever you want, but I just think it looks nicer. Okay, and then once you're happy with it, it's a little bit awkward because like it hangs straight, but your top is kind of like cockeyed, but it's okay. What I just do is that I just try to just like pin it the best I can. Ooh, you know what? I've never tried this. Cause you're gonna be covering it with fabric anyway, so it doesn't matter. So maybe if you take a sewing pin. Ooh, yeah, I think that just changed the game. All right, yeah, cause totally, cause that'll keep your shit straight. Let's see if it hangs right still. It totally does. And yeah, there's a little hole right here, but it's not gonna be a big deal, I promise you, because you're gonna be covering it with fabric. No one's gonna tell. Really does not matter. All right, so I say do that, but if you don't have a sewing pin, then you're just gonna be holding it up with your needle and hoping for the best, I'm sorry. I don't ask for epiphanies, they just come uninvited, unannounced. So to start sewing, you're gonna stick your needle in through the back. Pull out. Get a lot of room with your string. Cause you don't have to be, but I'm like, I like going around it kind of an obnoxious amount of times just because I'm a tweak and I don't want for any reason my tassel to fall out. All right, so you came out the front. Go back in from the back. <laughs> That's what he said. Sorry, I had to. And then pull. Make sure your tassel's out of the way of your thread. Shout out to the loud bus. All right, gentle pull. And then give it a little tug to secure it. Not too tight though, because it's kind of loose right here. You have nothing that's securing that loose string down. So you kind of have to, I mean, make sure it's like, there's no like air, I guess, per se in the front. See how there's that little bridge O string. So pull it back enough to where it's like tight. Just do this over and over and over again until you feel like it's secure or you ran out of string or patience. Oh yeah, another thing, just cause I'm OCD like that, take your ruler or measuring tape before you secure your other tassel and make sure that they're the same length. So I got like, an inch and a quarter. So that means sister has to be an inch and a quarter. Just want to acknowledge the fact that I realize my tutorial is long as hell. But if it makes you feel any better, we reach the six year old attention span. So there's that. Once you're finishing up your second tassel, I'd plug in your glue gun and get that heating up because next we're going to be securing our tassel down. Okay, so second update, um, I realized upon editing my videos that the shot that I took when I showed you guys how to glue down the front part of your tassel was super trash. I'm an idiot! You're an idiot! You're an idiot! Hand was totally out of the shot, couldn't see what I was doing, and I would hate to do you bogus. So for learning purposes, we're just gonna improvise so I don't have to make a whole new tassel. Imagination! Pen marks is what we sewed down the back of our tassel, right? Right. Pen mark on the front is like what we just hand sewed. And this is like do or die time. You have to make sure that like your shape's good, you're happy with it, things are cherries and berries. I mean, you're gluing it down. So once it's glued, like it's over. All right, so you're gonna glue the front down first. 
All right, so you wanna make sure that you don't put too, like your glue too close to the side where they meet. Because I mean, yeah, you're gonna be covering it with fabric, but like, I just don't like glue like spilling out the sides of it. So the closer in, like the better, obviously not too close because you want this to be down and secure, but I'll show you what I mean. Kind of fold this back, open it up. See what room you have. And then glue from the top all the way down. And yes, I'm sorry that my hands look like they're old geriatric and trembling. Feel free to roast me in the comments. Be weary of hot glue spider webs. Oh, they're the worst. Okay. And then make sure you're about to align your shit straight. Press it on. And then just pinch it shut. It's really not that scary, not that hard, but it's like, oh geez. Don't wanna fuck up. I mean, I'm sure it'd be fine if you did. I'm sure you could fix it. Great. Amazing. After you glue your front down, you're pretty much in there like swimwear. So once you flip it over to the back, then you're just gluing down the middle and then you're just going straight down to the center where you glue down the front. And then I would definitely just take the time to make it nice and neat, rip off any excess glue, spider webs, shit like that. And so now we're gonna basically do step one all over again, cutting out your desired shape, but with your fabric that you're gonna be using. This is satin, it gives a nice, clean, glossy look, and then people add their rhinestones on top of it, and it looks super nice. I'm using ones with sequins already on it, just cause I'm lazy. You're doing step one, but it's a little bit different because you're not cutting out to exact fit your tassel because we're gonna be wrapping our fabric going from the front around to the back. So you're gonna need a little bit extra room for that to happen. So once you found your stencil that's about a quarter to a half inch bigger than your original stencil that you were using, you're gonna do step one the exact same way, but just with your fabric. Get your circles, find your middle, cut to the middle, all of that jazz. Okay, so with nipple tassels, a lot of it is just repeating the same steps, just with different materials. So you're repeating step one, but just with your fabric circles that you just cut out. I put the overlap on the opposite side of the overlap of the styrofoam, just so there's not too much folding going on on one side, but do whatever you want. Okay, and I'm sorry that this clip is a little fast for what we're doing, but my time lapse didn't really do exactly what I wanted it to do, but we're moving on. With this part, you really wanna pay attention to where you're gluing. I like to glue in small increments, like 12 to two, two to four, four to six, et cetera. You're just gonna be taking your fabric that you just applied to the front and then gluing it over the back and securing it with hot glue. Okay, so spoiler alert, um, we're going to be doing the exact same steps, step one, our favorite, all over again. Um, for the back, you're going to want to make or find a stencil that's big enough to cover the folds that you just put over onto the back. A little bit over a quarter worked for me, so you're going to be cutting out your circles, finding your middle, what we've been doing this whole time, and then applying it to the back when ready. When you're applying your fake leather to the back, you're still going to be overlapping like you did with the styrofoam, like you did with your fabric. You're going to be doing the same thing. Um, with the glue, you can be a little bit more lenient, but be wary of it coming out the sides or the bottom of your leather. So I wouldn't glue too far to the side. You want it to be secure, but you also don't want it to be messy either. As far as applying rhinestones go, there's a whole bunch of templates online that you could find to help you. There's actually a tool that you probably should buy instead of the tweezers that I have that'll make it a lot easier for you. But so far, I'm just rocking with the tweezers or I'm using a skewer with dried glue on the end of it as well. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. In this part in the tutorial, you get really excited because you have your own pair of tassels, you're done with the bullshit, and you've made it through my way too long tutorial. 